Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Well, let's say we take a look over Plattsburgh here. Boy, it's a beautiful looking day. A lot of blue sky out there, a lot of blue water in <laughs> Lake Champlain. You've been in there lately. It's getting a little bit colder than it was. Water temperature now actually the same as the air temperature, 68 at last check. We've got a southeast wind right now, 7 miles an hour. So here's what we're doing for temperatures in and around the region. We've got some 60s and we do have some 70s. So we'll call it 71 right now in Messina, doing a 70 in St. Johnsbury, but a little bit cooler. Montpelier, we're at 66. Rutland at 69. If you're heading out tonight, it's going to be great. I mean, no worries whatsoever. It is going to get cool. Temperatures going down to about 50 in the Champlain Valley. I think you get away from the valley. It's going to be even colder than that. We'll have some 40s on the weather map tonight. Well, here's what Storm Tracker is looking like. We've got all this clear sky to the north, but you see this right here? We've got some clouds over southern Vermont, southern New Hampshire. This because of Hurricane Dorian. These are the outer bands of well, clouds in this case, and this may shift a little bit to the north. So from time to time, I think we will see a few more clouds around because of that. So here's what's going on with Dorian and the rain potential as it continues to come up the coast. Tomorrow, it's going to be a tough day all along South Carolina and then into North Carolina. 7 o'clock in the morning, it's going to be raining a lot around places like Cape Hatteras. And also as you come inland, here's the thing whether it makes landfall or not and it may very well around Hatteras we'll see how this goes it's going to rain an enormous amount there will be flash flooding there will be coastal erosion and there's going to be storm surge some real issues right along the coast here even getting into southern Virginia including parts of the Delmarva could be under the gun now I want to talk about our situation this is late Friday night into the beginning of Saturday we could find you know just a few rain showers because of the hurricane southern Vermont southern New Hampshire if we do if it will not last very long at all. This is moving out on Saturday. We are looking for the chance for a couple of showers late Saturday, really into evening time, but not so much because of Dorian, but because of this little trough of low pressure that's going to come in. Tomorrow, though, no worries whatsoever. We've got sunshine, some clouds mixing in. From time to time, temperatures getting into the 70s. So take a look at Futurecast. Take you through the overnight. Not bad. Here comes your Friday. Pretty good looking day. Yeah, we've got some clouds here and there, but not bad. Friday night, we do cloud up a little bit more because this is Dorian right here, 7 o'clock in the morning, way over toward the Atlantic Ocean. And then we do end up with a lot of clouds. But again, best chances for showers late in the day into evening time and not because of Dorian. So mainly clear, kind of cool tonight. Don't look at that, even though we mean it. 38 in the Tri Lakes. Come on. 44 St. Johnsbury, not far from 50 right in the Champlain Valley. Partly sunny tomorrow, and at times I think it'll be mostly sunny. 72, that is Plattsburgh. 72, Elizabethtown. We'll call it 73 in Burlington. Johnson at 71. And partly sunny in places like Peru, where it'll be 65, a Scutney at 72. Five day forecast. Tomorrow looking pretty darn good. Chunks of the day will be perfectly sunny. At 73, showers late on Saturday, and I think for most of us, we're talking Saturday evening. 67 degrees that day, then we clear on Sunday, 66. 67 Monday, looking pretty good. And then Tuesday, we'll call it 70 degrees on that day. Not too shabby. We'll extend it out. Here we go. Those showers, they do return next Wednesday, Thursday. But after that, we look good for a couple of days.